kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, guess who is back for another episode, episode 17, right here, either on YouTube and on our website, on our Facebook page, Metro Detroit Off-Market Real Estate Group. Listen, you know, I've been looking forward to this one for a little bit because I didn't really have somebody coming on with me. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to create my own, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to create my own and I'm going to try to teach wholesaling to you guys out there. See what we can do. But I have an extra bonus for you. A huge bonus. My man, Khalif Williams, is going to join me on here. Not only am I going to tell you my process and what I do, but then he's going to follow up with what he does and how he works. So that way, now you get two different perspectives. So, you know, I'm here trying to give as much value as possible uh, to all you. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel, if you can. Go over the YouTube. If you're not watching from there, watch from YouTube and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, Khalif, how you doing, my man? I'm awesome. I, I switched my audio settings. Am I coming through clear? Yeah, you're coming there crystal clear. Perfect, so, perfect. Glad to be right. here. Awesome. So now we're in Metro Detroit off-market real estate group. And he, obviously from the, his background, you can kind of see he is actually the admin of Metro Detroit MI off-market oh, oh, oh. deals. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. So... If you haven't subscribed to his group, please go over and hit up his group. It is very valuable. So, um, with you know, with all of that, like, how you doing, Khalif? By the way, um, I'm doing awesome, man. I, I, I'm uh, reevaluating, reinventing. Um, I think we're all kind of experiencing the same things in the marketplace. Oh yeah. So, just get in um, even more creative. Uh huh. Um, I mean, the, the, the thing is and always has been is building relationships, man. And that's how I've been getting things done uh, this second quarter um, massively is, is building relationships, nurturing them and putting stuff together. Most definitely. So with that, like what we're going to do is I, I, all right, all right. So I got a PowerPoint presentation that I'm going to present. And it just go, it bullet points, I kind of went too much into detail, but I put this together last minute before I was gonna, I was just gonna kind of go off the cuff here and there. And I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe I do a little bit of structure to it. Um, you know, there, that way we can kind of keep things moving. Now, if you have questions, please do put them in the chat, all right? Put them in the chat and off to the side. We'll be able to answer them as much as possible. Is that your little one right there? Ah, you're muted. Say hi to everybody. Yay. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> no? <laughs> All right. So, got a special appearance from the princess right there. So. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, see, she even agrees. Agree. That manager. <laughs> I agree. You agree. Oh, uh, so. Bye, Colin. Bye. Uh, uh, bye. 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 So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go off for everybody here. We're going to start off with, you know, first off, how do we how do we wholesale real estate? This is a big question. Everybody's going into it. Everybody's getting into wholesale and real estate. Um, 
you know so with with the times right now especially with so many people sitting here saying you can get in a whole you can do this with zero money down and zero this and zero that i'm not here sitting here claiming that um but at the same point Mm -hmm. You know, you can. It's gonna take work. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This bye, is not Tom. none of that. You know, oh bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she is cute. She is cute. So, so how is zero money? How is zero money down and getting a house? And uh, yeah, I didn't say that. I never said that. I'm not, I'm not claiming that saying other people think that. And I don't think that that is, you know, what I've heard is people saying zero money down for wholesaling and for put zero money in for wholesaling. Either way, you still got to market. You, you still have time in, you're still going to have to market. You're still going to have to put a little bit of money into it. Um, you know, things like that, but it's a lot lower barrier of entry than actually buying the house or getting a loan and putting 20% down or putting 3% down or whatever the case may be. So, um, with that, uh, let's see, sorry. All right. So what do we expect to learn from here? I, I'm, we're going to try to sit here and go through this, um, as fast as possible. Um, that way we, if we have time for any questions, but basically how to find deals and we'll go into the different ways inbound marketing versus outbound, uh, you know, inexpensive ways to market as well. Uh, or yeah. Um, what, what to do, uh, with a lead once you get it. Okay. How to talk to the seller. All right. How to get, uh, the price out of them and you know finding out the reasons why all right finding out their their why and setting up appointments or you know um or a time to call them back and the reason i put that there is because there's a lot of people that do virtual wholesaling so um also how to figure out your offer you know running comps a lot of this i'm not gonna there's a i don't have enough time to go over everything I'm going to try to do the cliff notes of everything. And then, you know, um, at the end, if you do want to do a one-on-one session with me, by all means, um, you know, usually I do charge for it, but if we uh, if we record it, uh, I'm offering it for free for a limited time. Okay. Depending on my schedule. Uh, I'll talk about that at the end. I uh, also, you know, how do you know, uh, how do you know what buyers was going to pay? I uh, also, uh, what's important for the market. Every market's a little bit different and, you know, um, I brick versus frame houses in Detroit, you know, that's a good example. Um, running the numbers for multiple situations, there's fix and flips, uh, buying holds, and then just buying it creatively as well. Um, you know, finding out what the buyers want as far as the return on investment. And here's a, this is a golden nugget right here is what are via VIP buyers and how to get them. Okay. Huge. Um, you know, also we're going to learn, uh, what to do when you have the seller and the buyer. Okay. Uh, how do you find a good title company? How do you talk to a title company? You know, uh, the process on uh, what you should tell the seller and the buyer, okay? And here's the most important, getting paid. Hallelujah, right there, getting paid. Who wants to get paid? Everyone wants to get paid, all right? So how do you get paid, creating the relationships, and then afterwards, what's next? I think this, this ending is, honestly the most important for creating the business period what do you think Khalif? 100 percent. oh yeah so <laughs> see she agrees too right there 100 percent. awesome so we're gonna start off with how to find the deals oh my god so cute so 
how to find the deals. Now, again, ask questions in the comments. I love to hear feedback from everybody, okay? Love to hear feedback. Just like just like Khalif's daughter there is waving towards it, right there, come, come wave towards me, all right? Uh, ask your questions, all right? So, different ways to market. Everyone has different, and each one of these costs differently, all right? Some of them are more expensive than others. Um, and kind of go from there. Cold calling, text blasting, PPC, which stands for pay per click, uh, driving for dollars, creative, creating a website uh, for SEO purposes, networking, on market, and agent outreach. All right. So, with that, agent outreach. Uh, I mean, right now, I'll tell you what I do is I cold call and I network. Okay, I cold call network, and we're also in the process right now of creating the website. But uh, right now, it's mainly uh, cold calling. We haven't gotten into text blasting. I've tried it before. Not to say I'm not opposed to trying it again, um, but right now we're just cold calling. So we're doing outbound marketing. I eventually want to get to where there's more lucrative deals, which are inbound marketing. And we'll, some of these in here, we'll go over that as well. But, uh, you know, as far as cold calling goes, you know, it's a, each one of these has its own little science to get to. Okay. So don't think that, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to do all of them. Concentrate when you're starting off, concentrate on one, maybe two. Okay. Or you like a couple of these you can use in combination, like driving for dollars, cold calling and texting. You can use those together. Okay. Um, with that being said, try to concentrate on one niche before you move on to the next. So what do you think about that, Khalid? I would agree with that. Um, I put in the chat, which way is the best, Randy? <laughs> Um, and oh, yeah? I, I'd say the one that you can be the most consistent with, that's going to be yes. your best friend. Most definitely. So, um, being more consistent is, is the key because consistency, honestly, that really gets you going. You know what? Bandit signs. God, you know what? That is one thing that I actually have not done bandit signs, but I got to add this in here. Thank you. See, there, there are different things in here. Terry, Terry Penny actually did that. Uh, direct mailing. I got to put that in there. All right. So those are two, th those are two things that I don't really do. Um, at the moment, that's why I didn't think of this. Remember I created this whole document about an hour ago. Okay, so I apologize for if there are anything missing and we will add them as we go, by the way. All right, we will add them as we go. So with that being said, yes, there are direct mail and uh, bandit signs. Those are two that are missing on this list, but they are similar. Uh, they are, those are still, uh, the bandit signs are inc incoming and the the direct mail is outgoing. Okay. So let's back here. All right. So in inbound marketing versus outbound marketing, we already talked about the two that are missing, which are the outbound are direct mail. The inbound is bandit signs. Okay. Um, what makes it inbound marketing versus outbound? Outbound means I have to actively search for the lead. I have for instance, I have a, a, a list that I'm cold calling. I have to actually call them in order to get the lead. Inbound means they're trying to call me for an offer. Okay. You always want to get towards the inbound because you're going to get the more lucrative deals in, but coming inbound. All right. Uh, unfortunately, the main reason is, is they have mo they have more of a motivation, um, because they're going to, uh, they have actively seeked you out in order to uh, 
get an offer from you okay for instance pay-per-click they they had to physically click on a button and fill out a whole form in order to get an offer so uh you know they are more motivated than a regular cold call uh you know going on your website seo they had to find your website they had to find all that net uh inbound is networking the reason why i put networking as inbound is because it cultivates all the network all the all the people you met uh and now they're coming to you when you when they have a deal that they want you to either one sell or two buy okay Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room